Welcome guys to another video of Marco Vrix and uh, as you can see here we have the Concord but uh, it's not that we are talking about I'm going to make a video of the speed build of the Concord to show you how this set this amazing set is but uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, this set do you know what this is? it's a set uh, from Lego Icons, set number 10283, the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery STS-31. As you can see here, we have our little plate that will show you, that will show us uh, all the time space, uh, the orbits, uh, max altitude, with velocity active from where to where, number of launches, the wingspan, and uh, it features also the Hubble telescope. So let's place the plate away and let me show you the real set, which is this the NASA Discovery STS 41. As you can see here, it features Hubble there and uh, a lot of different things that I'm, sure I'm going to show you. But first of all, let's concentrate uh, as on Hubble. This is the first part of the set that we're going to build. It stands inside of the space shuttle with this little black stand. Uh, or, if you want, if you have the space, I don't have the space. But this is a set for space, Marco. Yeah, I know that, but I don't have enough space. <laughs> you can actually display it by removing this little hands right here and right here you can tilt uh, rotate it 180 degrees and you can place it on his little stand which goes here and here like this so that you can open it oops open it rotate the the solar panel and uh, you see that there's a hole here, but you can actually fill it because there is also this little piece that goes here. And when you link it with, uh, you know, with um, a link, <laughs> you, it, feature, it, it uh, fits perfectly inside. And after that, you can deploy the antenna like in the other side, and you can display it with this little little uh, description here that it says uh, as a Hubble Space Telescope launch April 24, 1999 1990, sorry, launch mass, velocity and deploy altitude this little plate say that so let's put it back in the shuttle because that's how I display it and uh, Hubble it's uh, simple it's like this you, have, you can uh, close it if you want to, or open it, it depends on how you like it. You have these yellow details here, this, uh, this link, uh, this game, let me show you the back. In the back it's basically like this, with this NASA piece that is stamped, NASA and ESA. We have this solar panel here, which is a unique uh, piece, like this, or because this actual this uh, part of the set actually can fit inside the shuttle you can remove the big solar panel remove the stand right here it's simply like this it's a black piece like this and you can uh, you can uh, change by putting the big solar panel by putting this and with this you can actually fit it inside this is the back, this is the front of the space shuttle but uh, that's not all let's place a ball back in the shuttle so I'm going to show you we have also the little American flag here like uh, the real space shuttle you can, we have all these uh, mirrored stickers it's the first time I've ever seen it and it's, they are really really nice, they make a really really wonderful effect 
Let's push back humble, let's update the shallow panel, one here, one here, thank you GoPro. Let's push it back inside like like this. Okay. And let's link it with our two little hands that goes one goes here and one goes here and let's link the robotic car and that's how we display it the other feature that uh, are inside the space shuttle are let me show you we have uh, the pilot cabin that we, we can actually put it off to see the display inside the four seat and uh, this is a full stamp window and also inside we have uh, as you can see here we have the, another seat another uh, pc another pc here this is all all stamped these are not the stickers the only stickers that are is that are in this set uh, are uh, the discovery logo here and the mirrored one this also is stamped the emergency exit and uh, on the back we have uh, our engines here we have also the usa flag here and the nasa discovery logo here and united states here stand here and here and uh, with the engine we can actually control the aircraft like in the real one so we can rotate by rotating the top engine we can actually rotate the flaps and but you are going to say marco how it's me how it's possible to land the space shuttle well the space shuttle actually have only one possibility to land because it was basically a big uh, um, you know the aircraft that uh, don't have engines uh, in Italy we call them Alianti it's where uh, it's uh, a particular type of aircraft that goes only by the wind it will be deployed on uh, high altitude by another airplane and then it uh, flew only down and that's how the, sh the shuttle was made <laughs> to land but you say there is no gear you are wrong, there is gear let me show you because by putting this plate that can actually tilt like in the real one this is an aero brake and actually put it inside and the gear is deployed one let me put it up so i can show you one two and three on the front also and that's uh, the front view of our space shuttle. That's the top view of our space shuttle. And to close them, you can, you, uh, the only thing that you can do is put out this one that will uh, release the spring. And after that, by hands, you can place it inside. Let's uh, put. Let's put again the space shuttle on his base. All right. Uh, where are the holes? Okay, here. And uh, the other thing that you can do with this set, you can actually deploy the aero brakes here on the on the rear wing here. Example, you can actually open it up, like in the real one that are deployed like this, or you can close it. Or if you want to display Hubble uh, in a standalone, you can actually put it out, out ball, put out the, the stand, put the robotic arm straight in line and close it. And that's how you, you have a closed space shuttle. Unfortunately, there are these two holes because this is only a normal plate that is stuck inside like in this way not in vertical way so it actually have this problem 
I I was really hoping that I um, miss a piece or something like that, but uh, uh, it actually is uh, uh, the only defect of this set. But uh, the other uh, really nice parts are the incredible quality of the details. We have all the RCS here, here, here on the back, here on the top. We have all the engines like here one, two, three, four, five. And uh, as, as I told you before on the Apollo 11 set, that uh, RCS are used to correct the orbit and to place the, the starship or the spaceship in the correct way of, uh, for docking or to do some kind of maneuver in the space. And that's it guys. Let's place it back inside. Let's place Hubble back inside, like this. This set is still available on the LEGO shop and I really really recommend you to buy it. I got it for my... I buy it for my last birthday and it was awesome. It was really really awesome, that was one of my favorite set of all time. When I buy it was, all, was my favorite set of all times best only by uh, the ISS. Uh, oh, it's better than the ISS, I think. The ISS or uh, the Concorde or the Sotron 5. These are, for me, these are the set that are the most, the most beautiful of all time made by LEGO. You have a lot of uh, different teams, teams but uh, the space teams here now it's composed only by uh, Shuttle, Saturn 5, ISS and uh, Apollo 11. So that's it, I hope uh, you guys enjoy this video, I hope you, you buy this set because trust me guys it's really really nice and you have all these little details, the lights here, the little antenna, the other lights here, it's really really nice to build, it's easy to build, it's nice. Uh, it's basically two set in one because you have a ball and <laughs> the shuttle, so <laughs> what can you want more? <laughs> and uh, if you love space like uh, I love it, uh, you will buy this set. Let me know guys if you have this and uh, if you have uh, some other details on it. See you in the next video. Ciao!